Then I go here to punch. So my nut here, my my nut ha. Knuckle, not my nut. My nut is different thing. Oh, okay, it's not my nut ha. Oh, no, no nut ha. Oh, knuckle, knuckle. Hi, Asia One. I'm Mark Lee. I'm Jasper. I'm Jack Lim. And I'm Pat Mark. Okay, actually, before we get the script, I know uh, which movie, which star I have to imitate, right? So I go and watch the scene uh, many times. See how their head doing, you know, how you laugh, then how their action, everything, how they hold the secret, everything. So I have to imitate. Lah. I go and learn. Lah. That's the only way because I hope that if I want to imitate uh, Tony Leung or anybody, I have to do, I cannot say 100%, lah, but at least 90%. Yeah, I think the most challenging is the one Hua Yang Nian Hua, the very old type seventies, you know that scene. Because that scene, uh, uh, Tony Leung was so handsome. Wow. Then uh, this one I lose already. Uh, Su Liao Long. You, you cannot know? act, man. My I, face cannot act. My face cannot act, but my body language also still can. Uh. So <laughs> I try to put in more effort in my body language. Yeah. <laughs> the more difficult is also the body language about the pose, you know the fighting pose, how you hold the punch, everything. On the day we're shooting the scene, there, there is a Chinese uh, Yong Chun uh, Sifu and come and teach me about two hours. You're so good. Huh? Tony Yen learned about, Yong Chun learned few years, you learned two hours. Only. More than 20 years. <laughs> uh, I learned two hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little bit lah, here. Because when you punch the Mu Zhuang, you have to punch as flat, like that. But that one, I forget, you know. Then I go here to punch. So my nut here, my, my nut, ha. knuckle, not my nut. My nut is different thing. Oh, okay, it's not my nut. Ha. No, nut. Oh, no, no, nut, ha. Oh, knuckle, knuckle. Uh, I hit my knuckle, so the knuckle all chair. Yeah. Not my nut, my okay. nut will never all chair one. Oh, this is called knuckle. La. Ah, you don't nut, don't I? Oh, I know, peanut, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Uh, actually, you didn't have to do it. I didn't have to do it. When was the last one I did? Oh, yeah, the uh, one I did. Hoi Fan. Ah, Hoi Fan. Hoi Fan. Hoi Fan. Six years. Wow, this six years. Wow, you're very poor. Oh. No, I got other jobs to do. Eh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, it's not about uh, going back to movies six years. It's about uh, working with Mark again after ten over years because we have not been working together for a TV show or movies. So it was a good feeling to be back on the uh, movie screen with him again because uh, on set, I know definitely we have a lot of chemistry. A lot of things uh, we don't even have to discuss. But if we have to do scenes like lovey dovey, it's really gonna be difficult because. What do I get on? Yeah, get on one because when we look at each other, we want to cannot laugh already. Like, what well, our face want to be lovey dovey? Come on, lah! We cannot. are not young people. We are adult already. We are old people already. Yeah. He's more popular than me <laughs> because nobody wants me. <laughs> It's true, it's true. So it's Yin Yaku is more handsome than Jay's per line. Ah, really? Yeah. <laughs> the other reason would definitely be because uh, over the years uh, during COVID and all, I've been really working really hard for Pao Yaku, especially on the social media scene. And I really want to bring out another side of him uh, into the big screen. In a way, as a scriptwriter, I, I want to inspire. There's a lot of influencer and key opinion leaders out there that wants to do social media and yet at the same time they are they 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 really looking forward to step into the media industry and the movie industry as well. I, I really wanted Pao Yaku to go into the big screen to let these people know that it's actually possible. You know, if you work hard, you know, uh, you can dream big. At the end of the day, uh, we, I want to bring in more dy dynamic and layers to a uh, character. And throughout the years, I think everybody has been seeing Pao Yaku in a one direction, which is he's the silly guy. 
you know. But that's the that's the beauty of movie, and that's the beauty of putting these type of characters into the movie because you can see a different side of him that I have yet not shown online. So in this movie, I think definitely the audience can look forward to a smarter Pawiaku in a way. But definitely, I can promise you, 99% stupid and silly. But you have not yet seen that one percent throughout the years. I'm giving you that one percent in that movie. Normally, I am uh, speaking in Cantonese. Uh, this is the first time the whole movie I am speaking in uh, Mandarin. Actually, quite difficult for me, lah. I'm a professor. <laughs> a lot of dialogues. <laughs> Some of the terms, ah, uh, you know, like what na na mi small uh, the machine, ah. Uh, you know the kind of terms are wow for him. I will sit down there and look at him. Actually, I'm watching show. I see you how to say the line. All of them sitting there. Only one person to talk. That's me. A lot of dialogues. Talk, 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 talk. Now I'm speaking a lot of Mandarin already because uh, because on air in the radio station, 21 years I'm uh, speaking in, uh, Cantonese. But now the the youngest. They all speaking Mandarin. I'm from uh, Malaysia, Ipoh. Ipoh is a is a is a uh, space. Is everyone is talking uh, Cantonese. But now the youngest all speaking Mandarin. Already. So uh, Mandarin is very normal, really, But I mean, to be fair, I, I really love his Cantonese. He, he should reply in Cantonese. So, oh, wow, very flowy. <laughs> yeah, I really love the way he expressed in Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> that was once because uh, one of my friend's uh, mom, she got to know that, oh, you know, I just got house. So she bought for me one uh, ticket. That ticket got the first prize Ooh, and wow. starter. Because she put three number, ma, yeah. got first prize and starter. I bet, uh, I bet, I just tell you, I bet. Uh. <laughs> so, so not a lot of money, but to me, I was like, wow, that's very interesting how it works because I really don't. Uh, do this something, so I think it's quite interesting. I bow, I bow back to the auntie. They finish. They finish. I I give back to her because I, I didn't buy ma. She bought for me ma. And and I think that that itself is a luck. Yeah. And then I, I don't really you know need the money. I think well, to thank her, I will just give back her with the ampau. Long long time ago, okay. I start to buy a car, and my car number only one number, number four. Then he, I four, buy four, zero 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 four. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I come out first price, and, and this car I buy hundred and sixteen thousand, and I sweat hundred and twenty thousand, which is mean after three days I get all the money back. Then this car is free, Ooh. then I pay all the the instalment, and from there start, wow! Oh, I thought, wow! I'm the fortune god already, you know. So after that, uh, I tell you, uh, I give back more than hundred and twenty thousand. <laughs> Hi everyone, well, we hope you can come and support our movie What the Highs because this is the first time ever the Singapore and Malaysia comedian actors we cross over, really really cross over to bring you guys a very very amazing show. So all Malaysians and Singaporeans, our movie will be in all cinemas across your country from 19 January onwards. So do support us at What the Highs! Happy New Year!